okay so so far uh, we have this update address component and showing the record id only so okay and in the controller we are not doing anything yet hmm. Was this the one? Or we have that in the, or it should be in the, or in our component also when we go to lightning experience here. And we were working on accounts tab, so we can go there. Okay, that, that is fine. That is fine. Let's not, we'll not waste our time to find which is the one. So instead of that, uh, what point were we discussing last time? Did we uh, get a chance to uh, uh, connect our Apex controller? Did we con uh, connect our Apex controller as well? No, sir. Uh, we were building Apex controller only. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, we don't have time and we left there. Again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so what we will do is we'll uh, uh, we will continue this this component only. Okay. This demo helper. Sorry. Is this, is this demo helper controller? We were building that day. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so uh, we have a couple of methods here. Okay. The third method we will build. This one, right? Update account? Third method, update the Third update. update, update. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So fetch the address or information of the current. Oh, we were trying to update the address, right? If the address is matching or not. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Let's go ahead and continue this. Okay. So our method is uh, what it's doing. This Java's uh, Apex controller. It's fetching uh, all this address information from the contact. Okay, where ID equals to contact ID. So that contact ID, okay, supposed to come from here. Okay. Okay, so this we'll have to put inside in this component, the component we are developing. So what it will do, it will, whatever is the address of the account, it will uh, like uh, copy the address of the from the account and it will paste it in the in the contact if there is any discrepancy if the address don't match then it will copy that okay, okay. because the account and the contact address should be the same okay the account the contact is representing one account that address should be same okay there are lots of business requirements okay. like that it should be same so in that case you need some some uh, button or something using which you can update the address okay so that is what we are trying okay. to achieve so as of now we have got the fields okay we have got all the account fields and we have got all the uh contact fields also so using the contact we can actually access the account id because there's a lookup relationship there okay 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 so so far we are good now after this what we will do is we will just update this address from the billing street to the mailing street okay so now we'll just check if those are not same okay if those are not same then we'll go ahead and update it 
okay oh. okay so now we just put one if condition inside this if condition we have to check if our uh, con dot mailing street double equals to acc dot mailing street okay. if this is equals and if uh, any of this is let's check out not equals to if this is not equals to or um, or con dot mailing city mailing city is not equals to our acc dot link city or con dot mailing country is not equals to acc dot billing country okay this much is fine if it's any of this is not equal to then we have to update it okay so then what we will do is we'll make all of these equal okay So we will do con mailing street equal to this and we'll do con mailing city equals to this okay con dot equals to this okay okay so now once we have done that then what we will do is we will update con okay so once we have updated that then from here we will return true okay that means okay. our uh, method is successful okay? okay and it has updated that this mailing country not equal to this that's it sorry oh okay Okay. Okay. so mailing country equals to so we have copied everything and then we updated the contact and then we are returning true okay and in the okay. javascript we'll check if it's returning true that means it's a successful okay it's a successful okay 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 okay, okay. so now all we have to do is we will we'll have to con connect this particular uh, controller to our demo helper so whenever the uh, javascript or whenever the component is loaded it should actually call this uh, no, no no not whenever it's loaded so what we will do is we will put a button okay we will put a quick action button inside our contact okay inside our contact we will add some uh, along with uh, inside our contact tab we go to our contacts tab let's say this one so here we will add something like a quick action and in that quick action we will uh, uh, we will just click on the button update address if the addresses are not same then it will go ahead and update the address okay okay, yeah. okay. i think this is where we have already added it i guess this is from where it's coming uh, yeah we are just showing the record id so this is from where it's coming let me just check Minute page Okay, what's the name of the component this is our update address contact only yeah this is the component okay so that is already there just to check i think we must have added so that means uh, this record id is getting generated yeah record id is getting generated and it's coming here that is fine so what we will do 
is we can um, use some attribute here or a attribute and we will use name equals to let's say result okay and value or not value um, name, yeah type equals to we'll put boolean so whatever our uh, apex controller is returning that we will depending on that we will take action we will display that it's successful okay. or, or it's not successful okay 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 and apart from that okay if uh, it any of them are not equal to then we are trying to update that okay that is fine if it's uh, it doesn't get inside this method that means all of them are same so we are returning false so if it's returning false then we will show that the address is already same okay and if it's returning true that then we will show that the address has been updated okay, okay. Okay, so that we will do. So depending on the result of the uh, the uh, content of this v dot result, okay, we will show success or failure. So here we just have to give one message uh, showing that. So we will have we have something called aura if. Okay, so depending on the content of the result, we will do that. Okay, that we will connect later. First we have to connect our JavaScript controller to our helper. Okay, or okay. the apex method. Okay, okay. So in the handler, we are using do in it, but do in it is not required, I believe, because we are not doing anything on load. Okay, so I'll remove this handler. Okay, so we are doing something on click of the button. Okay, so mm -hmm. this handler is not do in it is not required. So we can say something like maybe my method. Okay, and inside this my method. First, we have to define a variable for action. So our action okay. should be uh, component dot get, and here we'll have to give our c dot the name of the method which we will be calling. Okay, so that should be update address. Okay, now once we have done that, so now now we have to pass our ID. Okay, okay, so there it comes into picture. Okay. So we need one do in it, okay? Because on load, um, we need to pass our uh, this ID should be passed, right? Then only it will fetch the ID of the uh, component or uh, the ID of the the record which we are referring right now. This ID we have to pass to our apex con or apex method. Only then it will fetch the fields, right? So here we are we are supposed to pass one ID of the record from which it will fetch so that id we have to pass correct so that id we will set on load okay you're getting confused is it uh, yeah. uh, we can set parameters after action also right huh, we can set parameters after action also but we need to okay. save that record id somewhere right okay so that record id we will be saving in one of the attributes so we have to create one attribute for record id or that okay. record id is also automatically created that record id will always be there as we are able to fetch that record id so that means the record id is already generated it's just that we have to grab that on load and we have to send it over to this okay so this this is not required okay we'll try it we'll try it okay so before that we need a record id so we can check out variable uh, rec id equals to component dot get and here we will get a v dot record id oh. e, yes uh, yeah v dot record id we used that was getting displayed so v dot record id so we got the record id now this record id we have to set as a parameter Okay. Okay. So this record ID we have to set as a parameter. So first we have got the action. Okay. Now after the action, what we will do is we will set the parameters. Okay. 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 So do you remember the steps? Like what all steps we had to do? Component and set param. Okay. So here we have to just do component. Set param. Dot set. 
params and in this we have to pass the parameters so parameter first parameter will be the this parameter okay yeah so first should be the oh, apex no. one and then we have to put colon and then we have to give what we are trying to pass it so we are passing the record id so this rec id we have to give it here okay so now our parameter is set now after that okay. we have to do a set callback callback okay so for that i think we have something called function let me just check it out yeah component is set for this comma function of response sorry component dot set callback of uh, this comma function of response dot okay. set call set back call. and then here we have to give this, this comma function, function of yes, yes, yes function of address response okay and then we need a function yes and then we need to compose this and here we are we are trying to set whatever the apex is returning that we have to set so that we need component dot set and we have to set our uh, v dot result yes so this v dot result we have to set to whatever value we are returning so we'll give a comma and we will give function get response response that get get yeah. Response get return value. Response dot get get return value. Correct. Okay. 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 So let us put some alerts here. You can put one alert here inside my method. Okay, and let's put some alert here, alert inside, oops, yeah, inside callback. Okay, so now the component is done and it should be returning. After this, we have to just do our NQ action. Yeah. Yeah. So we put one dollar, we put a dot e n. Q U E U E action and we have to pass our action in this. Okay. So now this okay. should be okay. And we will go to our component and we have something called aura if. Okay. So depending on, if, on this Boolean result, whether it's successful or failure, we'll be showing the result. Okay. So okay. we'll use something called aura if okay so how you use aura if now if you you can check values of this result and depending on that aura if we have something like this so depending on the aura if you can show the result okay and okay. there is uh, inside this aura if you have to define false values also so it's like if else in normal uh, methods what you do you write one if statement and after that you write one else statement right yeah yeah in order you have to define the if so inside that if only you have to give the else condition also and how you give the else mm -hmm. condition is you have to define something like attribute so we give aura attribute and then value equals to sorry aura set attribute equals to false okay so now whatever is inside this false that false will be done or false will be executed once this if will if is the condition is uh, false so we'll check the content whether this uh, result is true or false okay. okay so we can check out the aura if from here also aura if okay to check out the correct format or the syntax how we have to use it okay. 
So, in the aura if you just have to check whether this is true or false. Okay, so we have something called okay. is true. So inside this aura if we'll use is true, and is true okay. we are checking for which attribute we are checking for our result attribute. So equals to we will use the attribute in the similar way in the similar expression that we use. So we'll use v dot result. Okay, so if this result is equal to true, then we will display uh, address updated successfully. Okay, so as it's a HTML, so we can write if you want, you can add some paragraph tags also. We can put some okay. paragraph tag like this. And if you want, we can put some styling also in this. Okay, so we will put it inside a paragraph tag. Okay, and if our uh, attribute is like if it's not true, then it will come inside the else part. Okay, so we here we have aura set attribute equals to not false. And this is else. So it will come inside if this condition is false. Okay, and then we have to display something like maybe we will give another paragraph here, and inside this we'll write a uh, address is already um, or we can say account contact address is same as uh, account address okay so this we can display okay so this is like an error message so if you want we can also add some kind of error uh, icon with from the SLDS so we can fetch that okay. SLDS icon okay and we can use that error uh, icon also okay one step okay we open this is a new tab and we open our lightning icon here okay so we can uh, check out this icon which looks like a little warning let me check it out warning okay we have something for warning so this we can use and this warning is inside which section I think it is under utility maybe so this is under utility so we can use utility colon warning and we can use that and that we will put inside our lightning icon okay so what we can do is we can use here in before that here we can use aura or not aura here we have something called lightning lightning colon icon then icon name equals to this we will give utility colon uh, warning okay and we'll give some maybe size equals to as of now we'll keep it small and let's see if it works and that is it that is it our icon should be good to go okay so the icon will be displayed only in the else condition so if we want to have some kind of icon in the success also like something uh, like it is done so that we can check it out maybe some kind of tick mark or something yeah we have something called check also hmm. okay we can use that check so we will use lightning icon here also so I can just copy and paste this thing from here okay and we'll just change the name of our can so instead of warning we have something called check just check okay so is true result is also blah 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 okay this looks okay so we'll save our component and let's check out if our apex is getting loaded or not okay so now we will add this as a quick action okay okay so we come to our component here 
and we will remove it from this part or we can keep it in this part also so what we will do is we will go to our page layout and there from there we will create a quick action okay oh. so we can go to the setup part okay Okay, we can go to our con object manager and in the object manager we will be looking for contact object then we will go to the button section and then we will create a button or not a button we will create a quick action so we have a contact okay. object okay we have a contact object here we go okay and we go button links and action and we have something called new action okay so we don't want to create a record we have something for lightning component and we will choose that component from here so that name of the component is update address contact and this height as of now let's, let's update we can give something called update address okay Okay, and we will save it now once we have saved it uh, we have to add it inside our page layout okay so once we have saved it so we will go back here and we will go to edit page and we will add it in the page layout okay or we can access the page layout from here also so in the object manager we have something for page layouts okay we have page layouts okay So we have these many page layouts as of now. So which one is getting previewed that we can check. Okay. So if you click on the, the top panel here, it will tell you which is the uh, page layout that we are using right now. So there might be some error here. Maybe we have made some mistake. So we are previewing the contact layout. So we can add this quick action in the contact layout. Okay, so we go to our contact layout and here we will add that component as a quick action or the quick action that we have created we just have to pull it inside our page so we go for mobile lightning and action and here we should have something for update address so we have update address here and that we have to pull and to pull it here okay so we can drop it down oops Oh, this is not getting added. So this is type of quick action only. Create feed item is equal to no. There is something that we have missed while creating this. Okay. Okay, so this quick action we'll see a little later. I'll check out what is the actual problem. So what I can do is this my method I can call using I'll put another button here. Okay, using that button I will be calling this uh, update address. Okay, so here we can use one lightning button. Lightning button. I had this problem today also while working. So I'll check out why it's not getting added, then I'll update you. Okay. So, okay. Okay. so button equals to this and then value equals to mm, maybe update address and then action equals to here we can call our method c dot from here we can call this my method so that my method is here okay okay so are the attributes correct lightning button attributes value and action you remember the light, lightning buttons it's correct correct no okay. right. let me check it Mm 
okay so we have button and then we have a label okay we have a label and then we have on click so not action here we have on on click on click okay and in the instead of value we have label, label. okay so the label will show update address when we click on it it will display in this format okay that should be okay 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 so and then we are fetching the result we are showing the result yeah this looks okay okay now when we come back here to our contact page we go back looks like this component is having some issues so we'll check out what is the actual issue so i think we have uh, made some mistake while calling the apex controller itself so uh, have we made it as aura enabled so this apex this method has to be aura enabled that is fine so the aura enabled is done then have we connected the controller demo helper so this demo helper yes that is the, also the same maybe somewhere in the javascript we have some issues so we'll try to refresh and we'll see what is happening so far are you are you following so far what we are trying to do yes sir. i'm following okay, okay. Okay, it's not getting loaded at all. It's supposed to give us some error. It's not giving any error, it's not like loading at all. Um, okay okay we'll check out what is the error so let's check out our syntax for calling a server side controller hmm. okay okay so first we have to do one action and we have to get the method which is for the apex so that we have done here okay so we have something called action component dot get so we are calling our apex method that is now after that we have to set the parameters so here they have not set parameters set parameters i think that should be success only then instead of using that we have to instead of component we have to use action dot set callback okay so this should be action dot set callback this comma function of response okay and inside the response we have two component dot set okay that should be okay and q action okay now let us check this out okay, we'll refresh this again So we'll remove this alert okay and we'll remove this alert component dot set v dot result my method are we calling my method from here yeah we are calling my method only 
one click lightning button this looks okay so javascript controller is there nq action okay So we go to contact home that is coming okay refresh this okay and we go to any of the con contact then it is not loading not even giving any error then how will we debug okay let's check out once again uh, record id is component dot get this is fine then we have variable action equals to component dot get c dot update address so this update address should be same update address yes this is same then we have something for component component yeah this looks fine set parameters uh, let me check out this one or we can check out our own components that we have developed in our previous classes so let's check out maybe Score and be contact list. Okay, component or okay, let's load this. Okay, so first step is the action that we have done. Then we have set call back. Okay, let's come on this and get record ID. Let's say if we are uh, passing the parameters, uh, then you have to get the component. Then you have to pass it inside NQ action. Action dot set call back action dot set parameters. Action set parameters on ID record ID save it okay then we have component dot set so we can use this directly and then get the response dot get return value response dot this is fine and action is okay mm, okay okay now let's check it out again
But how come it is not getting loaded at all? It's like we are not even calling. We are not even calling anything. If we call, then some error should appear. Yeah, yeah it's simple flash only. Yeah, and unless we call this method, any error from the JavaScript will not appear. So it looks at least at least it should display that thing, right? Yeah, we can't uh, test this in application also, sir. No, if you test in the application, we will not be able to get that uh, record okay. ID, right? Access is under. Uh. Mm, okay, let's check it out. Let's see if we'll try to add it inside one dem uh, application. Okay, inside we will add our. We'll comment this part. It's not even displaying any error, so that we can debug. That is okay. So we will do c colon update address contact okay let's just save it let's preview okay loading 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 hmm when this is not loading Hmm. What is happening? And value this action equals to C dot to init. What we will do is we'll do this handler. We don't have any do init method. Maybe this could be the problem. We don't have any do init method and we at on load we are trying to call this method. That could be one of the issues. Let's try to refresh this once again. Let's see if we have any success. Mm, nope. No luck. Okay, we come to our No, 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 no. Remove the handler. Okay. Result. Button. I think a simple app. Or a F or a set. Okay. Let's try to remove this part. Okay. V dot result. Result. Button label. Blah, blah, blah. I'll click this method demo helper dot apex If you're not getting any errors, that, that could be a difficult situation to debug, actually. We don't know where we are going wrong. That is another problem. This is converted. We're still halfway. Okay. Okay, let's try to log in. Come on.
So this is also getting stuck at loading. But we don't have anything inside. That's the problem. Let's have one button, level equal subject to this, okay. Coming up fine. It is getting displayed here as an update address button, but it is not loading. So this is okay. So we got the button here, but there is some issue when the button is getting called. It is throwing us an error that ACTOIN is not defined when we are calling my method. So maybe we have made some spelling mistake there. Okay, so when we go to our JavaScript controller, somewhere we have made one spelling mistake. So that is the this one. Okay, so now when we save it. And when we try to refresh this page, okay, so we'll refresh it once again. Now it should come up. So now when we update the address, let's see what is happening. Again, it's giving us the same error. Maybe it has not updated yet. So line number 14, update address. We have line number 14 in this action. It's showing us an error. 
so action here is fine action 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 everywhere action spelling is correct only that means it has still not updated refresher one again okay Let's check out and we update the address okay come on Hmm. Okay, so we let's put some alerts here. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, now let's check this out. So our method is not getting called. How come? My method. JavaScript control my method. At least call the method. Lightning button on click equals to my method. This is same. Let us refresh it again. Okay. Okay. So we are inside the my method. Okay. Then we are inside the callback also. So it gave us the callback also. That means we are inside here also. Now when we try to do component dot set v dot result response dot get return value response dot get return value of this particular thing con dot mailing street not equals to billing or con dot mailing not equals to this 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 blah 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 return true from here we will do one system dot debug to check if the error is getting generated and here we'll put let's say uh, true okay and we will do one system dot debug or we can maybe say outside if outside if yeah, we can say this and we can say here uh, inside if okay so that it will generate some error log also as of now there shouldn't be any log generated okay okay Okay. okay let's try to refresh so you don't even know whether that page is refreshed actually or not or I mean the changes that you have made is that reflecting yet or not that is one of the problem with lightning okay. so let's refresh maybe two three times okay. So let's update the address now. Okay, we call the update address. So it's getting inside our JavaScript method. Then it's also inside our callback here. Now let's check out. But we did still did not get the message as success or failure, uh, which we have. Oh, we have not added that. 
silly me so what we will do is we will add one paragraph okay that paragraph is already there but i have commented it okay let me just see if the apex is getting called or not so this is our log at 779 okay so this should be the latest log so let's check out if the debug log is getting generated or not okay so it is outside the if but it is not getting inside the if so maybe the address is already the same so could be that account and the contact address is already same we go to the details part so we have account we'll open the account in the next tab and let's check out the address here if we see the address is mg road bangalore india so that is the address okay and for the account let's see if the address is the same so we go to details tab okay so here the address uh, do, 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 do. yeah it's also mg road bangalore india so this is also yes. same that is why it was not uh, getting inside so it was checking that if the mailing street all these are same then it is not getting inside so what we will do is we will now we will uncomment this part like if so we'll uncomment this if and we'll uncomment this if also so if the result it will just if it's true or false then it will show us so update address successfully and after this we will also put the value of our attribute the result attribute so this result will be getting set from this part so i'll remove this comment okay hopefully it should not throw us any error v dot result we should not type anything wrong so this v dot result we will also display here okay okay so this is done so let me refresh this maybe a million times refresh Okay, refresh again. Okay. Oh, we we'll refresh one more time. check out our update address so inside our method is fine inside callback it's okay and it did not display anything here you can also display this v dot result here let's check out if this result is even getting generated or not okay Value of attribute colon. Okay. Oh, you know what? We can also set a default value for this result. Okay. We can set default. Okay equals to false okay so by default it will be false only if the uh, update or uh, the address is updated then it will become true okay so this we can do So, so now as it's the value is false so it's showing everything so let's check out the update address so it is getting called this is getting called and the value of attribute is still false so it is showing us contact address is still the same 
now what we will do is we will try to go to the contact and we will update the address we will change it to something else something apart uh, other than the account address so that it doesn't match okay so that we can see if our functionality is getting achieved oops not this one let's edit this so instead of mg road we'll just remove this part mm, okay and we'll do save uh commission something save okay okay now we will do our update address z method z callback so now it is getting value of true and the address is updated successfully now the address should be seen if we refresh Okay, now we go to our details. Okay, so it is getting copied from MG Road again. So that uh, address is getting in our contacts once again. And here it should show us that the value of attribute as contact address is same. Now this time it is same because now it is copied. Okay, okay. so if we go to any of other contacts and let's check out if it's working. So this contact, is it connected to any account? So this is also connected to one account. So we'll check out if that, and we also have to handle some null values also, or else it will start throwing error. You know why? Because if we try to uh, get one contact, okay, if the account itself is not there, so we have to check that. Oh. Okay, so we have to check that also, and we have to return some value and showing that the account or the account there might be a chance that this contact doesn't have any account okay, okay. so that also we'll have to handle okay as of now let's just check it out so if what is the address here so the address is not there at all so this contact does not have any address so we'll go to this account and see if this account has any address and we also have to manage these values also if the account itself doesn't have any address or if the contact doesn't have any address so in those cases or in those scenarios those scenarios also will have to handle in real time okay, okay. So all this testing we'll have to do okay okay, okay. So in the account so do we have any address here so we don't have any address so what we will do is we'll try to add some address here let's say we'll add some values billing street maybe 17th main something city should be maybe like or Gurgaon and maybe uh, Punjab something we'll give country as India Let's save this. Okay, and let's go back to our contact and the value of battery contract is the same as the contact. Okay, both of them were blank, so it was showing as same. So now we need to update the address. So you can draw this. Okay. So the value of the attribute is true and address should be updated successfully. But we also have to handle like whenever we click if it's successful then it should automatically refresh the page because we should not be like manually refreshing the page the user will not be yes. doing all this work right mm -hmm. so what you have to do is you just go uh, and you search how to refresh a page on click of a button okay and just let me know okay. you can, if there's a very simple okay. javascript uh, functionality in lightning itself it's a very simple code that you can use okay and you can let me know okay, okay that okay. will limit okay. it Okay, so we can do something like window def dot refresh or something like that. Okay, so now okay. this address is getting copied from our account address. Okay, so whatever we are doing that is working out. Okay, but why is my quick action not working? That I will check out and I'll let you know. Okay. 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 Yeah, and you have some questions, right? You said that you have some questions.
Yeah, I'll share the credentials. Okay. Message. Okay. So this example also you try to practice. Okay. So yeah, try, uh, try to do it on your own. Okay. And yeah. handle those things also. Handle blank values also. Let's say if mailing street is blank or if uh, anything in from the account side is blank. How do, how will you handle that? And let's say if you don't have any account at all, like that contact might have account that might not have account also. So in that case, how will okay. you handle? So you have to check those out okay and you have to implement that as well and if you have any issues you can let me know and yeah yeah what what, what were the questions uh, and this thing in the prediction if you want you can share uh, you can show your screen also wait i'll give you the permission Okay, so I've made you the presenter. Did you get any link or something to show your screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's downloading. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Today's class we were actually right on track, but this error was it took a lot of a lot of our time. Yeah. More than half an hour it took. Yeah. It was not showing at all. Like what is the error? I mean sure at least it is not loading the page. Okay, okay, fine. Anyways. Are you able to see my screen, sir? Sorry? Are you able to see my screen? Yes, yes, I can I can see your screen. screen. This is the component, so it is showing the error. It is many times nothing is wrong. I will show you this is the error. Okay. This is a component. Uh, your screen is uh, still stuck at the point where it was loading the page. Uh, now, sir. Uh, 
I can still uh, see that it's asking you to save the password for that credentials and it is like logging in maybe it is loading I disconnected and uh, you should get one another link to uh, show share your screen or some prompt to share your screen maybe okay fine. Are you able to see my screen sir? yes yes I can it's getting there I think yes yes now I can see your screen this is the error actually. Mm -hmm. So, uncaught action field event management account related list. So, this is the controller uh, related contact <coughs> component dot set callback. You have not defined. So, you have to define a set callback. In the JavaScript uh, controller, you have to. This is a controller. So from here you are calling a so instead of component dot set set callback is so you have to give something like action dot set callback. Both right? yes yes set callback is always for action and in the, even the related opportunity you have to change it to action dot set callback in the second method. From component dot set callback, change it to action dot set callback. And then save it and then try to refresh the page. Okay. So the screen is stuck again. Are you getting the error again? No, no, no. I'm just refreshing the page. Okay, 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 fine. No, are you able to see my screen? Sir? I am still at the component. Okay, I'll change it again one second. Okay, change presenter to Srinath. Okay, now you should get a prompt again. Do you get any prompt? To, yeah, now I can see your screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it has not refreshed the page. So try to refresh the page a couple of times. That should have changed it. Did you save the JavaScript component? Yeah, I saved it. Okay, okay, okay. I can say allow in that. That's why, yeah.
did you get the error? Uh, still in the oh, okay, okay. okay, okay. Oh, my screen is getting stuck like all the time. So, again, it's like stuck only. So, I'm not able to see what's happening there. Okay, so whenever it's loaded. You must have got a new prompt to share your screen. Okay. Yeah, because it got stuck, so I sent it again. You shared me the credentials, is it? Yeah, I shared you. Can okay. you open for me? Yeah, yeah, I can. I can see the credentials. Okay. okay. So I log in. Oh, okay. I think it's coming up. Okay. You added in the account page, is it? Okay, okay. Yeah, account page. Okay. network issue from my end only. Okay, okay. Uh, I have logged in. I have logged in to your credentials. I uh, will just share the screen. One second. Okay, so I will share my screen. This should be your screen. Okay, so it, we were in the account page, na? So we go to any of the account. Yeah, account. Go somewhere here. Okay. 
okay and then you have a button where did you put the button that's the related page oh, okay and that's yeah. the Show contact. Okay, it is not throwing any error, but it is uh, okay. Show contact is throwing an error. Action a opportunity. Okay, okay. So let me just open the developer console here. Okay, so we have related contact function. This is fine. Action equals to component dot get. This is okay. Set callback. This function response component dot set v dot ac account ac contact ac opportunity. So we check out the attribute ac contact ac opportunity. This looks okay. Yeah, ac contact and ac opportunity. So here you have action component dot get. A opportunity so this should be the apex method a opportunity and a contact these two are aura enabled okay so let's come here and let's try to show the opportunity so we are getting callback field event manager dot account action a opportunity Component is not defined, so we have a spelling mistake here. Component, 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 component. We have something called component here. Okay. component is not defined still the same error okay so we are not getting any error as of now but it's not doing anything so in that case what we have to check if this method is getting called or not so we'll put some alerts here okay we'll put something like alert let's remove this comment uh, you can say related contact called and here you can put some alert here also is called okay so like that you have to check and then you also have to give some debug log here okay give something okay. like system dot debug and check out if this uh, apex is getting called or not okay so okay. you can say a contact call okay and you can give one debug here also uh, you can say a opportunity is getting called Okay, like that you can debug. Okay, okay, so we have saved this, save this, hit refresh. Okay, refresh it again. Ok, 
Okay, we go to our custom edit list. Show opportunity. We still have no method getting called. <clears throat> so we have related contact here. Are we calling related contact from anywhere? Related contact is getting called. That is the same. Come here, we have related opportunity. Are we calling this related opportunity? Yes, we are. That should also be fine. Okay, share. Okay, so the opportunity is getting called. And contact is also getting called. Now if we go here, we go to our debug log. Let's check if any log is getting generated. So two of the logs are getting generated. One should be generated once when we are calling the first method. So the method is getting called. Okay, but we are not displaying any value. Okay, both the methods are getting called. So you have to check out a way in which you can display the values. So only if you give uh -huh. ve.account.name, it will not display. You have to do iteration because you're retrieving a list of contacts and a list of opportunity, right? Okay. So you have to use okay, iteration okay. and then you have to display these values. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So you can check it out and you can let me know if you still have issues. Okay, sir. Okay, so if you have any doubt, okay. any any errors coming up, try to do some alerts and debug logs and using which you can debug it. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Unless, apart from yeah. this, do you have any other questions? No, sir. Okay. So please try the example that we have done today also in the class and then you can sure. uh, let me know if you have any issues. Okay. Try to update. Sure, sir. Sure. Okay. We'll catch up tomorrow, same time. Okay. 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 Yeah. Bye. Uh, please upload this one, please yes, video. Yes.